Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at the geometry within the 1CNC lathe software. Now, typically, you're going to be working with wireframe geometry if you're using the lathe express software. If you're using lathe professional or lathe expert, you can easily create solid models from your lathe parts as well. Having said all of that, you do not need a solid model to perform your standard two axis lathe work. Really, the only times a solid model comes into play is if you were doing something like C axis or Y axis or B axis, then there's some benefits to having a solid model. Having said all of that, with Lathe Express, you can still create a 3D representation of the part that will show up within your preview. And I want to show you how to do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly sketch something. And this really isn't going to be a video uh, describing how to create geometry. I'll have other videos for that. But I'm just going to quickly just grid point snap just anything up here. We'll say that looks good. Okay. And why don't we, let's do this. By the way, I'm just hitting the space bar twice to go to a CAD view. I like the CAD view. The CAD view is very much like a top view, except that it has a white background. Uh, space bar once gives you this. You can select CAD view manually, or you can just hit the space bar again to get to that. So what I'm, and I like that because it's easy to see the geometry regardless of what color it is. I'm just going to add a quick roughing operation and th this is not going to be a, a video on how to perform the roughing operation. I really just want to get just any toolpath in here. That looks good. Okay, so if I were to go to preview right now, you're not going to see the geometry. You're just going to see the toolpath. And that's preview is looking for 3D shapes like this uh, 3D tool that I've created. Okay. But you can come over here within Lathe Express and select Model Tools and choose this option called Create Lathe Model. All right, now this isn't really creating a 3D solid model. It's just creating a 3D representation of the part. And the way you do this is you take your cursor, see how it says Start? And you can start at either end. It makes no difference. I'm going to start at this. And then this is just the direction of selection. Okay, so I want to select in that direction. So I'm going to left click that arrow and then my cursor changes to the word end. I can come over here and left click or you can simply hit the F3 key on the keyboard to select everything. And then I'm going to right hand mouse click and as soon as I do that, one CNC creates the 3D representation. It's really not a solid model, it's just a representation. Now what's interesting about this is this color gets pulled from the, the uh, first uh, color palette down here. In fact, if I were to come down here and change the color and then take my cursor and, and just hold the wheel down on the mouse and kind of rotate it, you can see it changes color. So you can pick any color you want and just perform like a rotate. I think you can even do like a zoom in or a zoom out and it would do the same thing. But that's how you can uh, change the color of that. I'm going to go back in here and change it to maybe that color blue. And now if I go into preview, if I right click and select preview toolpaths, you're going to see that 3D representation of the part. Okay. So again, that's not a solid model. It's just a 3D representation, but it's a nice tool. It's a nice way to get a nice uh, 3D feel of the part that you have. All right. And then if you ever want to get rid of that 3D view, just go back into your model tools and select clear model. And that will clear the model and just bring back your wireframe. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope this video helps out and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.